Alright everybody, welcome to the very first league match in the season as well as the server, so very exciting times. Our very first league match consisted of Oslo Royals against Norfolk County. Um, it was pretty interesting matchup. Um, it's uh, safe to say that a lot of the players probably had a bit of jitters, <laughs> it being, you know, the very first uh, league match of the season as well as, you know, their careers and the servers and the league so you know very very nervy times for them um, and for the Oslo Royals we had Trotter in the defense, Simeone in the midfield and up top with Illich and Barnyashev and for Norfolk County we had Wilson in net, uh, Cruz and Hawkins would um, uh, militate the midfield and Pinto and Price would uh, come up with the attacking and we're going to jump straight into the highlights here. Um, this wonderful pass by, um, I forget who that is now, but Illich had a wonderful opportunity there to have a strike, but he just couldn't seem to get it on target. And there, Pinto for Norfolk County had, a, had another brilliant chance to, uh, you know, put his name in the scoreboard, but a good, good save by the goalkeeper, who had a pretty, pretty good match, I'd say. Um, was able to block it and Pinto again was here but another great block by the goalkeeper and you know Pinto had a really good game as well um, unfortunately he just couldn't get past the wall that was the goalkeeper whose name is uh, I think Johansson Johansson for Oslo um, here a wonderful piece of dribbling um, Tom Price had a beautiful shot there but again the goalkeeper came up big and had a big stop there um, here another brilliant piece of uh, work for Pinto to get a good opportunity for his team there but again it just went wide and the match ended nil-nil um, both teams weren't really able to pick out a winner um, Norfolk County definitely being the team that had most chances um, Pinto especially having a dangerous uh, presence in the Oslo defense but Johansson the goalkeeper for Oslo had a really good showing um, was a very reliable foot in the wall and he just couldn't get past him in the match ended nil nil and for the second game we had Reykjavik Griffins come up against Sporting Rovers And for the Griffins, we had Tibergen in net, Bjornsson in the defense, Mockery in the midfielder, uh, Miller and Hernandez were up top. And for Rovers, we had Grimes on the wings in the defense, Bolton and Abraham commanded the midfield, and Soboda and Jong-un represented the up front. And to be honest, this game was, I did not expect this game to end this way in the manner that it did. Soboda here, had a brilliant uh, shot blocked, but the rebound just eluded De Bergian's hands. And very early in the match, I think it was the fourth minute, Soboda smashed it home and got Rovers up 1-0. Um, here a beautiful, just an exquisite pass from Ab Abdallah Abraham to jong Moon, the shortest player in the league, I think, with a beautiful header right past De Bergian's fingers was able to find the net again in the first half and it was already 2-0 up for the Rovers. Um, definitely was not expecting it, but the Rovers were just absolutely brilliant. But here, a wonderful chip pass was just horribly cleared away by the defender and Arnason, I think, for the Griffins, was able to get a chance in, but he just skies it. And here, that, what a shot that was by Jong Un. From that much of an angle to get it to hit on the bar and somehow get knocked back was just really amazing. 
And this was a really good chance for Hernandez there. But he just, he had to have done better there. He should have just smashed it home, but he just belted it at the goalkeeper and it could have gotten a goal back. And the Griffins seemed to pick it up a little bit um, by the second half. Um, they had a chance there from way far out, but they just couldn't seem to capitalize on it. And the Rovers ran out winners 2-0. Um, definitely a wonderful showing from Soboda, I'd say, who was just an ever-present, just constant fear for the defenders of the Griffins. And for me, he was the best game of the night, or the best player of the night, sorry. <laughs> the best player of the night. Um, and yeah, Rovers up 2-0. Pretty good showing into the second match day. And for our last match, we had FC Leyenda play against Golden Eagle FC. We have there with a the nice flag there that are that is customized. Um, this game also did not go the way that I was expecting it would. Very interesting uh, match, which we'll see in a little bit. The players getting ready to go on the pitch there. Um, you know, it's always very nice to see you know young players get their chance that they've always been training for, dreaming of. And our lineups for Leyenda, we had Martic in net. Dwayne and Franco would hold the midfield with Dimitri and Chess up top. And for Golden Eagle, we had Brathway in net. Shevchenko would militate the defense. Winter would have his place in the midfield, and Tim Becker would be up front. And this game was a cracking game, let me tell you that. Dimitri, with a very early opportunity there, could have had a goal there but it was just bobbled by the goalkeeper a terrible terrible error by the defense allowed Boyer I think it was Boyer to smash it home right past the goalkeeper right past Martich's tips of his fingers and was able to put his team up by one goal but the defense there was just very poor they should have done better to clear it or something Tim Becker here with an opportunity had a chance to cross it in and he did and Barreto, the newly acquired forward who was not present in the special match, was there at the right place at the right time from Tim Becker, who I must say had an absolutely exceptional match this match. The defense again bobbles it. Tim Becker was just absolutely phenomenal in this match. Could have done better there, but just the ability to just steal it away was already really good. A pass by Neumann there to Becker who smashed it home from outside of the box. The goalkeeper had no time to react and Tim Becker already in his first professional match for the league had already his first goal and an assist. Neumann with a shot here had a chance to make it another goal but Martic had a good save there who unfortunately had a very poor match this, this game. Um, and the match ended 3-0 in favor of Golden Eagle, who really just turned up for the game. FC Leyenda did not. Um, it was pretty balanced in terms of possession, but Golden Eagle were just absolutely amazing in this match, particularly Tim Becker. Um, I could see them, if they continue with this performance, I could see them going very far for their first season. Yeah, I'm very interested to see how the rest of the season plays out. I'm really excited for what all teams have to offer. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.